Foxjet manufactures marking and coating equipment for the industrial marketplace. Our people have the vision to anticipate customers' challenges and the ability to develop product solutions to meet them. We design, develop, and distribute innovative printhead technologies that deliver crisp logos and graphics, clear dark text, and readable barcodes onto a variety of surfaces. Our industrial high-resolution printers are built for performance and reliability, offering up to a 4-inch high print area of text, graphics, and barcodes. A choice of printhead controllers allows for flexible user interface and integration, which can save money and eliminate downtime. The Link Series small character inkjet printers feature fast, easy-to-use non-contact printing of messages on just about any surface. Its unique design eliminates nearly all of the daily maintenance needed by other continuous inkjet printing systems. Foxjet's drive for better solutions led to the development of its all-electric print and apply labeling systems that maximize uptime, are built for reliability and cost savings. The Solo Series Thermal Inkjet Printers from Foxjet feature many printing capabilities including up to 10 lines of alphanumerics as well as logos and barcodes. The enclosed print head design of the Solo Series printers makes them truly durable. Foxjet's VX Series print heads for dot matrix marking and coating allow for half inch to two inch in print height. A wide array of built-in printing codes and ink types allow end users to quickly create messages for printing on any substrate. Our products are built for tough conditions. They are field repaired when needed providing the lowest total cost of ownership. Engineered with technologies so advanced, Foxjet printers were the first approved by Walmart for printing directly onto boxes and trays by suppliers. Same-day service and repairs are not uncommon. Through Foxjet's distribution network, which spans international, national, regional, and local markets, it's easy to access our broad network and ultimately increase your bottom line. With our extensive product portfolio, global distribution network and vision, Foxjet continues to deliver new and essential marking and coating products to meet the demanding challenges of the industry. Welcome and thank you for joining us on this virtual presentation here. Normally we would present in person to you, but the way things are, we're just going to have to do it this way. So we thank you for joining us. Um, what I'd like to do is introduce myself. First off, my name is Greg Chatterana. I'm a regional sales manager with Foxjet. And joining me today is Michael Sawyer. Michael Sawyer is our global distribution sales manager. And he comes with a wealth of knowledge, so I invited him to join us on here as we talk to you about TCO and inkjet printing. That's right, Greg. And remember, as we're walking through this live demo, I'm sure that there's going to be questions that you have. We have a team of experts standing by in our live chat winning window, so make sure that you go ahead and type your question in there. We'll get to those questions as we go through the demo, and perhaps, if we can, at the end, we'll actually answer some of those questions live as well. So make sure you put those uh, those in the chat window. Now, Greg, I think today we uh, we want to talk a little bit about total cost of ownership, or, or TCO, right? That's correct, Michael. I want to talk about total cost of ownership, but let me first define for everybody what I'm meaning here in this presentation by total cost of ownership. I don't want to get into a bidding war and let's talk about my prices versus their prices on the equipment. We all know that equipment comes with a price. But the real total cost of ownership that we want to talk and discuss with you is what are you going to experience once you decide on one of those technologies and put it into place? Obviously you have some concerns about total cost of ownership or you wouldn't have joined us on this virtual demo. So the ones I'm going to be comparing to with Michael's help is we're going to look at what direct to carton printing with a high resolution Foxjet system does compared to say pre-printed boxes that you're using compared to the labeling equipment that you're using, and maybe in some cases, some other types of inkjet technologies that you're using. Let's look at what it takes, in this case, to set up a production line. How long does it take for you to set up your production line in regards to marking and coding? More importantly, how it looks and how long it takes when we're looking at a case coding. I also want to look at the logistics about it. 
What kind of things need to be brought in or taken out when there's unexpected changes or, or emergency kind of situations where we've got to stop what we're doing and change to something else? So let's start with your production line. You're, you decided that your guys are going to be running this cherry pie product. If we're using pre-printed boxes, how do you get ready to run this? Well, who do we call? We call Charlie, right? Yeah, the forklift driver, right? That's right. We're calling Charlie the forklift driver and telling him to bring over the boxes that we need for this message. And you know what? We still got to wait for Charlie. Because what if Charlie brought you the wrong boxes? Now he's got to take those back and bring in the right boxes. Again, a delay in it. If you were using a labeler to put the label on the boxes that this cherry pie is going to go into, what would we be waiting for? Uh, you might be waiting for labels to come up because you don't have any labels close by. Maybe it, it needs to be replaced midstream. Perhaps maybe you need ribbon for the labor. Right? That's right, Michael. So there's those, a lot of consumables. Those are some good points. On a Fox Jet system, all we're doing and recommend is that you tie your controller into a, your database so that when your operator on the line wants to change production, it's literally as simple as scanning that barcode to have the message automatically brought up. Now you're ready to run that. Um, also, too, let's look at what if there's a sudden change. All of a sudden, it comes down from production that, you know what, we can't run Cherry. It turns out that that's not available, so we're going to connect to the, the VAT that's running Pumpkin instead. It's just a matter of picking that barcode and changing it over to run that message now instead. Now, of course, if you were doing pre-printed, you might have to go out to your warehouse again, get different boxes, pull it up to the line, just like we talked about with Charlie before. And what happens, perhaps, if marketing decides, I want a little bit of a different message on the box, I want to put a different logo on the box. Well, all of those boxes that were in your inventory store, those are now obsolete. Those have to be trashed. You lose all of that profitability that you have that you put into that inventory item. So, Pre-printed seems like a really simple kind of process, but there's a lot of things that go into increasing the total cost of ownership when you look at it. That's right. And then let's look at it if we're looking at labels. What if you're putting on a pre-printed label onto that box and there's an ingredient change? Now it's talking about getting a different roll of labels put on to put onto that labeler and make sure you have the right. Or on here with a Foxjet, depending on the controller you have, you can go into that message and create or delete and change whatever those ingredients are so you're putting the right message onto the side of the case. So let's take a look at what you do to set up for your line, right? We talked about bringing up the right message. We got that set. We understand how to do that with the Foxjet system as opposed to how you're doing it with your current system. Keep that in mind. What kind of adjustments do we need to make on the production line to make sure that our printheads are putting that information where we want it on the box? Right, right. So, Greg, we've got a couple of items here that really make that easy to do. So the first one that we're showing here is actually our XY toolless adjustment bracket. So I have the ability to very quickly move this printhead in closer to the line. Perhaps if it's, if it's a wider box, maybe I need to pull it out. But also keep in mind that I can very quickly move it up and down. So in this case, I can see that my box may be just a little bit too uh, too low for this particular printhead. So all I'm going to do, just very simply, just twist that. I'm going to lower it down a little bit, lock it back in, and now it's ready to go. It's at the right height for this particular box. Notice, he didn't pull out any tools to do it. No measuring sticks, no balancing of the printhead. The whole printhead moves up and down without any tools, and you can move that handle out of the way so nobody bumps into it and becomes an obstacle later. Mm -hmm. Right, and then of course also, Greg, keep in mind that we're running our retracting bracket. So what that allows me to do is actually have a box that will ride on these rollers here in the front. And as the product rides, it's actually going to push the printhead back. It doesn't push it back too much, but the main reason that we have this is to protect the printhead for one. And also, if you have any overfilled boxes, you might see that there's a little bit of a bow on that box. And so as the box goes by, it actually pushes the printhead back a little bit and still provides a very perfect mark on your box. And along with that, while the printhead rolls along with the box on that overfilled case, you notice it doesn't stop the production line. Let's face it, you've run into it where that overfilled case can jam 
in the air conveyor line. It can jam trying to go past the labeler because the box is way too close. Or it's jam going past your other printheads because again, it's wider than the box and the inkjet printheads that are set up to run on it. Here with the retracting brackets, we move so that you can do that. Matter of fact, let's, again, let's change our production line. There's been another call for a change of production. And this time, let's see, we've talked about apple, we've talked about pumpkin. We're going to actually run a peanut butter cookie. Again, simple click of the handheld scanner onto the barcode. And let's, Michael, let's go ahead and run it past yeah, yeah, sure. and let them see what, what the print looks like and how fast we just changed over a production line. Absolutely. Let me rerun that. I didn't have it turned on. Okay, take two. There we go. There's your message, printed, ready to go. Let's review some of the things we talked about, about why you would want to use a Foxjet Pro Series system to lower your total cost of ownership by watching this video. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video and saw a number of things about the FoxJet system that really struck your interest. So keep writing your questions down in that chat window and we'll be sure to answer them as they come along. Well, Greg, it looks like we've got some that have just come in. <laughs> Let me see if we can walk through some of these real quick. All right. Uh, let's see. So the first question I have here is how many messages can I store on a Marksman Matrix controller? That's a good question because you saw us scanning the barcode to bring up those messages. It's only limited by the size of the hard drive that's in the controller. Right now, that limit is about 100,000 messages, which I think is far more than most manufacturers are using. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen quite that many. I think, uh, you know, and obviously, if you use a database connection, you might only have a few templates as well. So you'll have plenty of space on sure. the Marksman controller. All right, let's see, the second one, how many printheads can be used with a Marksman controller? Well, on a Marksman controller, you can use up to four printheads. It can be any combination of the 384 or the 768E printheads, any combination, just up to four. Okay, four, well, that probably is plenty. All right, the last question that we have here is, when can you come see my operation? Wow, we got somebody that's ready for us to come out and Don't talk to love them. That? That's love excellent. that when they answer that. <laughs> well, Foxjet, we'd love to come see you, but Foxjet sells exclusively through distribution. And so what's going to happen is we're going to pass that lead and your interest on to one of the authorized local Foxjet distributors in your area, and they'll set up a meeting and time to meet with you to talk to you more about Foxjet and what it does. Excellent, excellent. Well. I think we're out of time. Again, appreciate those questions coming in. Continue to chat with our experts. 
we'll continue to answer your questions and get us in contact with you, either through ourselves or possibly either one of our distributors as well. So thanks for joining us and have a great day.